Okay, what is going on guys? So today we have a very, very special video. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time and uh, it's about time I do it. So this is going to be um, a part of the 101 series. So basically the only other video I've done of this was Archangel. So I'm going to be going over um, a, a specific champion and just going in depth on the champion, how to use them, how to play them, breaking down their, all of their abilities and everything. So yeah, the only other one so far is on Archangel. Uh, and that one was extremely well. That video went over good. Um, and yeah, now it's time to do Spider-Man. You guys have been requesting for it. I've been wanting to do it. I've just been trying to figure out how I want to do it. So finally figured it out. So without further ado, let's start talking about <clears throat> the man, the myth, the legend himself, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. So as you can see, his signature ability is 101. It's pretty perfect for this video. Um, but yeah, guys, so let's break the champion down. Um, so first of all, let's get into his base stats here. Um, his attack is actually insanely high, so in Labyrinth, he only needs actually one attack synergy at rank 4. Um, his health is on the lower side, but that's fine. That's fine. It, he makes up for it in so many other ways. His critical rating is 31.6%, which is extremely high. Um, his critical damage rating is 237%, which is also extremely high. Um, his block proficiency is really low, but again, he makes up for it, so yeah. Um, those are his base stats to get those out of the way. Uh, his synergies... He's one with Vulture that he gets increased ability accuracy while AI is active, which is okay. Um, Vulture gets increased incinerate damage, which is whatever. The, the Iron Man and Hulkbuster one, the synergy does not matter. Uh, the AI reboots faster. It, it, that, that, that does not matter at all. Um, first of all, you shouldn't be losing your AI. And even if you do, uh, just try to charge it up. It, it doesn't take that long. Uh, the next up, Contest Noobs. This synergy is actually pretty good. Uh, I don't use it with Kamala, but Miles, he fits in on some really good synergy teams with the uh, Spider-Man universe, like his villains, uh, other Spider-Man allies. So yeah, Spider-Man gets increased uh, stun, shock, and snare debuffs last 30% longer. So shock shouldn't be taking away longer doing more damage stun's gonna last longer and the ensnare which you usually don't use but it will also last longer so yeah really good synergies um with miles that one is super underrated um yeah so let's get into his actual abilities here so we're gonna come back to the signature ability um but first we're just gonna go over everything else so flat out spider-man has a base three percent chance to evade all attacks um it's the exact same as black widow even though i think black widow is a little bugged but yeah just three percent to evade any attack uh, all the time. Uh, so that's like a medium attack on a regular combo. Uh, and that, that gets added to uh, his special uh, evade chance, which we'll get into. So, Stark Tech AI. Um, so basically, Spider-Man can, can evade any special attack. He has a flat 60% chance, and that does stack with the 3%, so it's a base 63% chance to evade any special attack. Um, but that's only when the AI is active, so if Spider-Man is struck by a Cosmic Champion or struck by a Heavy Attack, the AI does get shut down for 10 seconds, uh, but it just reboots in that time, you just have to wait 10 seconds and it's back up. Um, so yeah, don't get hit by a Heavy Attack or a Cosmic Champion. Now, next up, Smack Talk. This is such an insane ability, guys. It's just so crazy. It makes the champion so good. Um, so... Spider-Man evades an attack uses it or uses the Dexterity Mastery. So this is like a passive evade uh, on a special attack or just this flat 3% um, or a Dexterity. So when you evade an attack, it could be at a passive evade or a Dexterity. But even if you do both, you only get one. So you get a Poise Charge. Um, and you can stack 10 Poise Charges. So the cooldown on this is 0 0.8 seconds. So um, when, a, when an enemy is attacking you, you can evade a heavy attack and a light attack right away. That's two dexterity chargers. You're not going to get two poise chargers. You have to wait a little less than a second for it to recharge. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're building your poise. Uh, each poise charge grants 382.6 attack rating. So this is a huge attack rating, especially when you're stacking up these poise chargers. Your attack just goes in through the roof. Um, if Spider-Man lands five interrupted attacks... He uh, converts a Poise Charge into a Taunt debuff on the opponent for 3 seconds. Taunt lasts 50% longer against Villain Champions. So, basically what this means is uh, every 5 hits that you land on the opponent doesn't have to be in a combo. You can hit them 4 times, back off a Beta Special, go back and hit them once. Uh, it's going to apply the Taunt. So, what this does is a Taunt, basically. Um, opponents that are Taunted have their attack reduced by 40% and have a 70% higher chance to activate a special attack. So this means it's going to be super easy to bait out special attacks, and this also actually works against all or nothing nodes, which is insane. Uh, and also with the taunts, dodging back and allowing Spider-Man to idle for one second allows him to smack talk his opponent and refresh an active taunt, which I will show you guys how to do once we get into the gameplay. Now next up, 
this is probably the most underrated thing about Spider-Man, and I just love it. It's just the ace up his sleeve in every single fight, uh, his heavy attack. First of all, not only does his heavy attack hit insanely hard, I've seen it hit for over 18,000 at 10 poise charges. That's one hit, one hit, 18,000. But it also drains 45% of the opponent's max power from the power meter. So if you push your opponent to a special three, um, you just got to get the, get off the heavy uh, and you can power drain them. But getting off heavies is kind of difficult, which is why the heavy attack paired with the special one is insane. So the special one, uh, you usually don't want to be using the special one, but if you get into the position where your opponent is at a special three, uh, you have 50% chance to stun the opponent for two seconds. This uh, this chance is increased by 100% if the Stark AI is active, which it usually always should be uh, if you're playing correctly. So you push them to a, a special three, you end your combo with a special one, they're stunned, you go back in, heavy attack, power drained. Uh, it's insane, I've done this so many times, it's saved me in so many fights, it's just so good, man. Uh, it does take 30 seconds to recharge, but your taunts should be power control enough uh, if you're playing correctly and baiting out the opponent's specials, and the heavy attack is just a fail safe if it goes wrong, so so good now the special two this the special two hits so hard this is where a lot of the damage output comes from um so the special two it has four components the first component it hits decently hard if it crits around like 4k and then the the other three components when they crit they usually hit for around 11,000. so you're hitting l2s that are like almost 40,000. It, it's insane um so you have a 70% chance to shock the opponent as well, dealing 17, 21.7 energy damage over 6.5 seconds. Uh, and these shock effects are overcharged and deal double damage to robot champions. So if you're wrestling like an Ultron, uh, the shock is just insane. Um, but yeah, the shock is actually really underrated. The shock does a ton of damage. And again, with that Miles Morales synergy, so good. Uh, and I'll touch upon the special three, but you're not really gonna be using the special three. Um, the only case that I've ever found this useful was in Labyrinth of Legends against all the Ultron there. Uh, and it's just because when I used the special two, he was healing the energy damage. So I decided to just go with that special, special three and it cut down on his evasion a lot. So that's the only scenario that I've ever found this useful. Um, but you have 100% chance to ensnare the opponent for 18 seconds and snare champions suffer 30% uh, reduced ability accuracy and cannot trigger, trigger passive evade effects. Um, but it says passive evade effects. So the Labyrinth evade still works. Um, and also any evasion buff, like Spider-Gwen or Nightcrawler, those still work as well. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, now let's touch upon the signature ability. What this does is uh, Hero's Mantra, greater power, above 50% health. Spider-Man's taunts last two seconds longer, which is actually really useful to the champion. I went very in-depth on that on uh, my Spider-Man Awakening video. Um, so yeah, each poise charge also grants him an additional 330 critical rating. And this is insane, guys. So not only does the poise charges uh, amp up his attack when he's unawakened, but awaken, it also amps up his crit rate, which is just nuts. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, he's crits so much. And then below 50% health, uh, Spider-Man's chance to evade an attack uh, increases uh, by a flat 7%. So uh, that 3% gets an additional 7% added on to it. So it goes up to 10 Um which again also does apply to the Stark Tech AI, so that puts it to a base 70%, uh, under 50%, and each charge of poise grants him 79.03 additional block efficiency, which is nice, but uh, you, you wanna stay above 50% for all the insane damage output when you're playing this character. So yeah, guys, that is, um, that's all Spider-Man's abilities. Um, wow, that took eight minutes to break it down, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, Hopefully I explained it well. Hopefully you guys understood there. Uh, now let's go get into some gameplay. So we're going to fight Rumble Legends Winter Soldier here. Uh, I'm going to put together one of the best synergy teams. So if you're just using Spider-Man, this is one of the best synergy teams you can use. Um, Electro and then Miles. So not only are you getting some crit rate, you're also getting some fury. Um, some block efficiency here. Uh, you're also getting the... Um, Ability accuracy when the AI is active, and the uh, synergy with Miles Morales here, which is really good. So yeah, let's get into some gameplay here. Uh, the blade synergy <coughs> is also insanely nice. This lets you start off with three poise chargers, which is so huge, especially in Legends runs. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah, this is the, the best synergy just for Spider-Man. Uh, so yeah, let's get into some game gameplay here. So basically, every time you get that dexterity buff, you can see my poise chargers are going up. Uh, 
building them against Winter Soldier is a bit clunky just because his AI is a bit weird. It's okay, you see that taunt? Um, we're going to back off here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't work right there. Okay, one sec. Let's, uh, let's get another taunt up on him here. And we're just going to back off. And now we're going to stand still. Uh, why isn't it recharging? Hold on. The taunt is not refreshing. Let's try that again. I don't know why. Hmm. I'm not sure why my taunt isn't refreshing. Um, usually it works. Is it bugged or something? Okay. That's really weird. Um, <laughs> okay. But, uh, maybe we'll try it against Red Hulk in Labyrinth. See if it works there. It always works for me in Labyrinth. I don't know why it's not working here. But, nonetheless, so what I was talking about earlier is you go for the L1. Get the stun off. And you go in here. Get off the heavy attack. As you can see, it hits pretty hard. And you get the power drain going. So, yeah. Alright, let's hop out of here real quick. Let's go test it in Labyrinth. Because it, it, it seems to work there. I'm not sure why it's not working there. So I can show you guys what I mean. Um, it's a bit weird. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Having some performance issues, I guess. Uh, let's hop into Labyrinth real quick, though. Just go in fights. Uh, we'll go against... Star Lord. Star Lord is a bit easier. Okay. So, usually, and uh, the way I, I view it is it depends on the fight if you want to build up all your poise chargers. If you're in a war fight, uh, usually you usually have plenty of time to build up some poise chargers, so you usually want to take advantage of that. Um, but in some fights, like if you're going for a Legends run, you don't want to just sit there building up 10 poise chargers. Uh, that's not really what you want to do. Uh, so yeah, just, just remember, it depends on what, what fight you're doing. Uh, if you should build those poise charges up or not, and how many you should build. Alright. Let's get the taunt on him, and I can show you guys what I mean here. So there's the taunt. If we just back off, see how it refreshes there? Uh, just stay out, stay back up a little bit. So just stand still, and it refreshes. So it's actually working here now. I'm really not sure why it wasn't working before. Stand still, refresh that taunt. Uh, you can just keep that taunt up for a long time. If he's maybe not throwing a special right away or something, you can just keep that taunt up. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I was trying to show you guys before um, with the whole taunt thing. Uh, so yeah, you can see that shock damage is just insane there. We've got three stacks of it. Absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what I was talking about with the whole taunt thing. Uh, one more time, I'll show you guys what I mean. Just back off. Ah, uh, didn't trigger there. Okay, let's get it up one more time. And just back off, stand still, and it refreshes. So yeah, guys, that that's that's how you refresh the taunt. Really not sure why I wasn't working against Winter Soldier, but there we go. Um, there's a couple more fights I want to show you guys here with Spider-Man. Uh, the next one's going to be up against a Dormammu. So we're going to duel one in my alliance here, and I'm going to show you guys just why the auto evasion is so important. Because when you're fighting a Dormammu, um, like I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to evade his specials, um, which is all good. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to evade Dormammu specials, but when you evade them, you get the Dexterity Charge. And uh, when you're fighting Dormammu, you really do not want to get that Dexterity Charge. So uh, yeah, let's see if he has Mystic Dispersion. Do you? Oh yeah, he does. Good. I wanted him to have it. I'm going to build up his Power Bar a bit here. So as you can see, um, we're going to build up his Power Bar here. So there's the Taunt. So we can just hold Block and uh, hope that Spider-Man auto-evades for us. So... We killed him. Alright, let's actually go in here with a two-star Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, just so that we can really build up that power. Um, or, or let's go with a three-star, actually. Let's try that again here. I want to push me that at level two, and then show you guys what I mean. So, three-star tech champs. Uh, my Spider-Man's not really leveled up, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to push him to the special two, and then we're just going to let Spider-Man auto-evade it, and uh, yeah. Show you guys what I mean. We're going to auto-evade that. There we go. See, we just got two poise charges there. Now we can get the taunts going. But I actually want to push him to that special too. So we're going to stun him and push him. So now we just back off. Full block. And uh, see, just like that, Spider-Man auto-evades it. So that auto-evasion is just so important, especially on a fight like Dormammu, 
where you don't want to get the dexterity. That's just why it's just so important, guys. Uh, just so useful, uh, especially in a fight where you maybe can't even evade the special, like the collector. Um, so important. So I have one more thing to show you guys. Uh, let's bring it up here. Uh, this was from NYCC, New York Comic Con. Uh, my fight here. And I went in with Stark Enhanced Spider-Man. And just before we get in here, the guy before me went in with Spider-Man, Stark Enhanced. And uh, what he, he did not get any poise charges. Um, he just started attacking the, 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 the maestro. And then the next guy went in with Star-Lord. Uh, and he had an insane time. He had about a minute and like three seconds. Um, so I had to beat that. And, you know, I was thinking maybe go with Star-Lord. But, you know, got to stay true. Got to use my Spider-Man. And I know how to play Spider-Man. So... I stuck with him, I went in here, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I need to build Poise Chargers. That's what the other guy didn't do, that's why he screwed up. So my plan here is to build some Poise Chargers. So the fight starts out, uh, build one Poise Charge. We, uh, he's playing, he's not playing the way I want him to, but we build up another one, uh, get another one. He bits, puts out a heavy, I, I have to punish it. You have to punish those heavy attacks when you see him. Uh, now we have a taunt up on him. I'm trying to intercept, he's just, the AI is just not wanting to work with me. Um, yeah, try to build a couple more poise chargers. He has the L1 now, so I'm going to bait that L1 out. Um, come on, man. Throw that L1. Let's go. Uh, I accidentally parried him. I'm like, okay, got to punish the parry. Um, got the taunt up. Just throw the L1, Maestro. Thank you. So I, I was a little rusty against his L1 there, so Spider-Man evaded it for me. Um, but I'm like, okay, yes, there we go. Got some poise chargers. We're baiting the L1 now. Um, boom, okay, we're getting some good damage. At 10 poise chargers. Let's go. Let's bait out another L1. Oh, we accidentally parried. Okay, let's punish that. Uh, bait the L2. All right, I, I have like five seconds to kill him here. Let's let's get the L2 off. Pop, pop, pop. 9K, 8K, 3K. He's down. Let's go. So hyped. I was I, I was just so happy. We finished there with one minute left. Uh, another three seconds or another four seconds, and we would have we wouldn't have made it. So, yeah, guys, that like that. That, that was an insane fight my favorite fight here i haven't uploaded this i i put the video together didn't upload it but yeah it was my greatest fight in mcoc for sure um and going into it just like everyone i when i picked dark spider-man everyone was like what's he doing why is he going with spider-man the c people like commentating it were like he's not attacking what's he doing like but yeah i was building up the poise guys because the poise is very important um so yeah, guys, that, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If there are any more sp questions on uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, let me know. Because um, I do know this champion extremely well. Uh, yeah, I, I use this champion every day. I play with him so much. I, I did Labyrinth with him on Awaken. So yeah, guys, any more questions, let me know. Put them in the comments. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I've been wanting to do it for so long. If you did, smash that like button for Stark Spider-Man. Uh, subscribe for more content. I'm going to be taking this guy to rank 5. Once he's at rank 5, who knows? I cannot wait to see this champion at rank 5. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Peace out.